After defining series last week, I used partial sums to calculate the actual value of series. For geometric and telescoping series, I could produce actual values, usually rational numbers, for the sums of those series. Those were useful initial examples, but it turns out they were a bit misleading. For the vast majority of series, when the series does actually converge to a value, the value of the series is not going to be a familiar rational number, or even a familiar irrational number for that matter. Most series that do converge will converge to some new unfamiliar number. This reality changes the nature of the discussion of series. The naive approach to series is, is to ask, what number does this series add up to? That question assumes that the result will be familiar, that the series will produce recognizable answers. If this is not the case, then I need to change the question to this. Is the series actually a number? That is, does the series converge? In this spirit, what I care about is convergence, not calculation. If a series arises in some mathematical problem, what I most need to know is if it actually represents a number. I usually don't need to know, at least at the start, roughly what that number is. I just need the confidence that there is a number, which I can then use for other purposes in calculation. For this entire week, I'll be introducing tests for convergence. These are various ways that I can determine whether a series converges, whether I can treat the series as a reasonable, well-defined number or not. I'm not going to actually try to calculate the values. The important mathematics here is convergence, not calculation of values. As an example, consider this series. Using methods later in the week, I can prove that this series converges. This series is a number. I can label this number, say, call it alpha. Then, since I know convergence, I can do arithmetic with this alpha, use it in another place, another formula, another function, whatever I need to do with it, I am confident that it actually represents a number. The focus of this week is convergence. But sometimes I do actually want to know approximately what the number is. Series are good at approximation. If a series does converge, then each finite piece of the series is an approximation. In this case, I will look at the first four terms in the series. That is, I take n equals 1, 2, 3, and 4, and put them into this expression. The results are these four fractions, which sum to 217 over 48. This is an approximation for the number alpha. If I add more terms, I will get a closer approximation. And this is the best way to get a representation of alpha in somewhat familiar numbers. I could wonder how accurate this approximation is. The accuracy and precision of series approximation is an important question in the study of infinite series and is itself a big part of mathematics. In this course, I'll not cover much about the accuracy of approximation with series. However, that topic will be covered in other courses and will be particularly important for numerical analysis and algorithm analysis in computing science. Indeed, all of the work that computers and calculators do to calculate the values of functions is approximation work which requires careful control of the error to ensure that the answers that are given are given to the expected precision.